What's up guys, welcome to the channel and we finally got this thing running. And what we are gonna be focused on is gonna be on the uh, installing the coilovers. Put these coilovers on the front and put it on the table and match, <clears throat> set the right size with the new coilovers. Since the, uh, since the, uh, we are gonna have 18, since we're gonna have 19 wheels on the, 19 inch wheels on this car, we're gonna leave the, uh, the a little bit higher than what it is right now because last time that I was running with the 19 wheels on this thing, the wheels were rubbing on, were rubbing on the uh, rubbing on the fender, so we don't want that. So I'm just gonna leave it a little bit more higher than that, and uh, we should be good. And I just got this shield right here, air cooling radiator and something from C1 Motorsport. Uh, we're gonna hook that. We're gonna install that thing later on, not today. What you're gonna remove from here to remove the shock, as you guys remember that we installed this last time, uh, you're gonna remove the 17 inch bolt right there, a uh, nut, and the, the brake line bracket that is in the back. And from top, if you already have coilo, uh, if you had the stock one, if you had the stock wheels, if you had the factories, if you had the factory uh, suspension, you're gonna have a connector here. I think it's this one. And you're gonna remove just two bolts, two nuts. This one right here, and this one right there, the 14 millimeter. And right here in the back, you're just gonna remove this bolt right there, that one right there. And from top, you're gonna have to remove another two, but for that, you have to remove all the plastic covers that is in the back. So, I just gonna install this thing and probably just gonna show you how to adjust the coilovers. And that's it pretty much. Right here, we have the 10 coilovers, the new ones. Probably you guys already saw the video where we unboxing this thing. We are not gonna move, uh, we're not gonna move anything from here to here. We're just gonna align them up from the bottom. So we gotta either either drop it off if it is too high. I mean, this is your key. So basically, what you're gonna do with this is gonna be like that. We already removed the one at the bottom, so that is that thing is gonna just fall off. Okay, it should be good. And here it is. All right, guys, to adjust your new coilovers with your original coilovers, what you might want to do is pull the old one out. Well, I don't know any, I don't know much about coilovers and all that, but I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now for the like for obvious reason if your factory coilover is like this high and the other one is like this high, I would say that is gonna be the difference that you the coilover is gonna be how much your car is gonna be low lower it. And that's what I think. I'm not quite sure. I'm pretty sure there is a lot of video how to adjust your coilovers and all that. You compare the new coilovers with the old suspension and you will see the difference. And that's, there is when you're gonna start in uh, uh, either uh, put it on the same level or if you wanna lower it, that, that's what the obvious reason you wanna buy, you are buying a new coilovers, right? Because you wanna lower it your car. So I would say I compare it and then you want to see how what, how much you're gonna drop it if you want to drop it more than what it usually can for your car like already comes adjusted for some some uh, some height from factory or from the store whatever you buy it from if it is for a specific for your car this should be uh, already uh, it should be already set up but in this case if I want to lower the, the car as it was I had to lower this part right here, spinning around, so until I get this level. 
until I get this level right here, right here. What I'm gonna do is, what you guys gonna, gotta do is lose it from the bottom, not from here. This is supposed to be almost right there, like from uh, from factory. And uh, it should be good. But uh, if you want more lower, you're gonna lower it from here, from the bottom, you're gonna lose this thing. This is a little hard. It's a little, uh, it's pretty tight. This, uh, this uh, adjuster right here, it's pretty tight. So what you basically gonna do is uh, get it loose and then you're gonna spin this thing down and then you're gonna see how much you wanna lower it. As you can see right here on this side, this thing is more lower. So if we want this thing, we should go more lower a little bit more, I guess, over here. Should be good. Um, like I say, we need this car a little bit high, not too low how it was because we wanna replace the wheels. We're gonna change the wheels and we're gonna be running 19 inch wheels and this is in the one we have right now is 18. So with this, so this coil over the car with the 19 wheel was robbing on the fender. So basically what I can see right here right now is that I'm just gonna leave it as it is, as it came from factory, or as it came from the store. So that way I'm not gonna have any problem. And it also say which side it goes where. And this one is for the right side and this is for the left side. But what I'm gonna do is get this thing out this one, I'm not gonna ever gonna move it. I'm just gonna get this thing out, just to uh, to put some uh, uh, what's it called W40 on here. So that shit, that thing is not gonna be, it's not gonna stop. You know, you already know that, right? We're gonna lubricate this thing. So so that's gonna be soft. That's gonna be uh, good whenever someone somebody wanna adjust it or something i'm not gonna move this thing that's gonna be there for forever that's gonna the adjustment that we need and if you move it what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure from here to here and here to here that's where you're gonna measure we grab our w40 just spray it and it should be good you also can spray it here. It has a hole on the back, so it won't have any problem. And now, we just gotta put it back on. Should be good to go. Well, I'm just gonna tie it back, and that's it, pretty much. So that's basically what I'm gonna do with this thing, guys. I'm not gonna do too much to it. Just gonna keep the same, uh, same height that it came with the, from factory. I'm gonna do this process on the, all the four of them. The car is already on the on the jack stand, so it's a lot easier for me just to put them on. And, uh, and the, the rear ones, I do have to put more work to to put all the plastic back on because since the last time I uh, I changed, I put those on, I never put them put them back since I, since they were bad. I was uh, waiting to buy a new coilovers and then put everything back together. Yes, guys, that's how it is. And uh, like I say, if you, whenever you wanna adjust it, and uh, if you had the, the front sides with this one, you can measure from here to here and compare these two, uh, both the ones gonna be in the front. Same with the ones on the back. And then this is already ready to go in the car. So basically, there's not, not a lot of stuff for, I'm pretty sure they're like more specific way to adjust them. But uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't really know how to. I haven't watched any other video, but this is how I'm gonna do it, and this is what I think how it's supposed to be adjusted. Um, I should be someone, someone supposed to. There is some people that really know how to do this work, but uh, that's how I'm gonna leave it like from the factory since I want a little bit the car a little bit more higher than how it was. 
so for because we're gonna change the wheels okay uh just gonna tie them up and we should be good to it all right we've got this first one and we already know how it goes so it's like this and should be right there Right. Once you already have the top mounted, you're gonna use a jack from the control, the, from the lower control arm, and um, you're gonna start to lift it. So that way you can put the bushing in there, right there, where that bolt is and uh to put that bolt in the bracket right there make sure you put it before you put this bolt right here on top so that's gonna be a lot easier for you to to mount it right or if it's a lot easier for you just mount it on the bottom and then put it on the top either way uh, it probably might be a lot easier if you put it on the, on the bottom you start lifting it to 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 the top right there yeah it's much easier okay and that's how we got the first coil over itself just gotta put the bolts in the bottom and that's it and we got our first coil 10 coil over installed there we go caliper has been painted that's good all right now we got to do the same thing now we got to do the same thing with the rest of the the coilovers i really apologize guys that i'm so dirty but you already know how this is dirty work This front coilover actually they weren't they weren't bad. The only are the only ones that are really bad are the ones in the back ones. Those are really bad. But those uh, here in the front one, they still good. But we just gonna replace them anyways. I like to put grease on this thing right here, this bushing. Why I don't know, but. Whenever I see a hole, I put grease. <laughs> 